Hello and welcome back to our RTS series. In the previous episode we got our AI units to walk over to some trees. In this episode we're going to set up the process of them carrying actions when you've given them instructions. So for example when we right click on a tree to chop down the wood, collect it and take it back. If we click on an enemy to go over to them and attack them. If we want to go to a rally point it will go to a rally point and so on and so forth. So for this we have to do a few little cleanup things first and in preparation for this. And the first thing we'll start off with is our unit building base. So our unit building base currently has an AI controller, which doesn't make sense because it's a building. So we go to class defaults, scroll down, and you'll see AI controller class. Change that to none. That's the first thing. Close that. And then go to your behavior tree. Now your behavior tree currently looks like this, where you've got the root going to selector, to go into your travel sequence and then move to. And part of that travel sequence is a blackboard base condition. This blackboard base condition is checking to see if your target location has been set. However, we don't want to just do that, we want to do something else as well as that. And we're going to check if we are at the location. So go down and right click and add decorator. And you will look for is at location. Click on this and then go over to the right hand side. We're going to change the acceptable radius here to 200, which is also the same radius as we've got on our move to 200. And you may even increase this a little bit if you want to, but nonetheless, there we go. I'm then going to go to blackboard key and change that to a target location. And then I want to inverse the condition. Now I want to inverse condition because I want to check that we're not at that location. So if we're not at that location, I want to move to that location. So if that's done, we can move that to the side. We next going to go down to another selector here. And this selector is going to then branch off to different different actions that these enemy uh, so these units can do. So for example, we could go down to a sequence here. And this sequence could be the collect wood sequence. So we go here and we do that collect resource. And there's our collect resource. We'll have another one here. Sequence attack target okay and any other things you may want your AI to do I'm going to keep these two for now so next we need to do is an enum now the enum is going to instruct the AI what to do next and we can use it in combination of this here so let's create our enum go to add choose uh, blueprints and choose enumeration I'm going to call this one E action open this up and in here we can add new enumerators now if you don't know what an enumerator is essentially it's like a list of variables but if you want a full description of explanation of what they work i've got a video all about enumeration on my channel just search for enumeration and you'll find it so here we're going to do just two for now we do collect and attack and we'll do another one called wait well hit save we'll close that and go back to our behavior tree so let's add the weight one into this as well so another sequence and this one is going to be called the weight sequence so that's if we made a move to a certain location that does no action it'll go there okay so over here we're going to right click on this and go add decorator and choose blackboard and the decorator here is going to be used to determine which action we've been sent over to our behavior tree so we go to our blackboard go to new key and choose enum and we call this one e action enum on the right hand side go to key type expand that open and here you can choose which enum you want to use and we're going to use the e action enum save this go back to your behavior tree click on your blackboard base condition and then on the right hand side change the blackboard key to your e action enum you can now check whether or not it's equal to the different options we have available in a numerator so collect attack and wait so this one will be collect and we do exactly the same for attack so add decorator blackboard condition choose enum attack and finally on white decorator blackboard e action enum and wait okay so hit save and we're done there 
Okay, so what we're going to do is when we move that location, we'll give that instruction. We're not just setting a move to location, but also setting the enum. So let's go to where we right click on a tree. And when we right click on a tree, which is this code we did in the last episode, we are setting the blackboard uh, blackboard key value as tar for target location as the location of the tree. We also want to set the value as enum. So set value as enum. And the key name you can do how and do make literal name and this would be e action enum so the exact same name as it is on our blackboard and the enum value I'm going to go down to our variables and do action and choose my enum from the list And there you go. And we're going to drag that out and plug that into enum value. Hit compile. And on here, I'm going to change the action to collect by default. Okay, and that's it for there. So that is going to set up the Blackboard condition to be collect, forcing it to go down this collect resource path. Now, to demonstrate that, we're going to create a new task. To showcase that in action so I'm gonna right click on here and go uh, sorry not right click drag from here sorry go to task and we're gonna do play animation and we're gonna choose to play the work animation now I already have an animation for this if you're using my same uh, resources by all means you can use them as well otherwise you can use your own so this animation will be it working so let me find the worker which is down here somewhere working a there we go so we've got this animation being played and we'll play it on looping so that'll do that and hit save so when he gets to that point he should hopefully change to a different animation so they were animating so what we need to do is make weight the default so weight here is currently third you want to make that first like that's so going to wait collect and attack save that go back to your behavior tree and just change these conditions to match that so it's equal to collect so to change that to collect this one is equal to attack and this one is equal to wait hit save and let's go back to game test that out so here they're not doing animating if I select turn to go to this tree and off they go animating excellent so the next thing we need to do is make it deal damage to the tree to collect those resources so what we can do is on our behavior tree we've got this play animation we're going to put this in a simple parallel so drag out from here and do a parallel and the play animation is going to be here on the one on the right side now what that means is it will play this part on a loop on this branch here until this one has been completed so whilst this one is doing something this is going to do this sequence on a loop so uh, that will work just fine for animation we want it to play the animation whilst it's doing this so uh, we want to do a task in here which will take it to attack the target this attack target can be used for other things as well for uh, like combat but in here we can use it for attacking the tree dealing damage to the tree and collecting those resources so we're going to make a new task in here and we'll rename that task attack target and go into here in fact actually let's rename it to re uh, attack resource or collect resource we'll do a collect resource that'd be better okay so in collect resource we're going to override the execute AI and this means it will trigger as soon as it triggers it's going to run this code so on here we're going to need to tell it to uh, deal damage to a, a target now the target is going to be based upon whatever we clicked on so again when we click on a tree we need to set a blackboard value to that so before we do that let's quickly add the variable for the blackboard key so this will be like uh, attack target we'll call it and that'll be a blackboard key selector 
and uh, hit the editable button drag this out and then from there you want to get a value as actor and then from there we're going to apply damage and the base damage we're going to do here we're going to do as 0. Point, uh, we'll do it as 0. 0.1 okay so that'll do that but we only want to do it when it executes it uh, not on execute but on the tick so let's disconnect that and then put in a tick AI and put that in there and we'll be, we will be changing the tick speed on this so don't worry it's not going to happen too quick so that's going to do the tick here and deal damage and that will do there hit compile and save that so let's go and set up the attack target uh, blackboard key go to behavior tree go to blackboard add new target uh, new key go to object and call this one target actor and on a key type express that as an actor hit save and then go back to your tree so we're going to add another set value but this time we're going to set value as object And the key name we'll make and we'll do that as target actor and the object value is going to be itself hit compile and save that excellent so that will now send over that target to our behavior tree via the blackboard then our behavior tree we're going to look at using our collect resource like so and the attack target we're going to assign to target actor if you don't see this here just make sure you made it editable on the uh, task so that's going to keep doing that we now need a way to turn that off so we have to determine when that's finished so what we're going to do is check whether or not target actor is still valid so or has health rather so we go to unit tree uh, not unit tree so we go to collect resource and before we do the attack target damage actor we're going to just bring that across here and we're going to check if this is valid still it is valid if it is do damage hit compile and save that now let's go to is not valid and if it is not valid we'll take to finish execute make sure you tick the success box that will then end the collect resource which will then end the play animation and change everything else up here um, so let's make it so it changes the action then to wait so back on the collect resource before we just before we do the finish execute we're going to go to variables and this will be action drag this out and do set value as enum And leave it at zero because zero is our weight enum it's the first item in the list therefore it's zero okay so that should work now so let's try this out oh so it won't work just yet we have to actually do damage to the tree so we we'll go over to the tree no we'll just go back so all we've got left to do is go to our tree and apply the damage on here so we'll take it as damage and do receive any damage and on here we're going to add health value so go to variables add health and set that as a float and defaulting to one and when we take damage we're going to take health out minus damage and then set the health back You then want to check to see if the health is less than or equal to zero less than or equal to zero and if it is that means we're going to kill the tree and just destroy actor compile and save that okay so we'll go click on our actors right click on the tree 
off they go and off they go doing down a load of damage to it so the issue is, is that the tick is going too quick so let's go to our behavior tree click on click resource go to the tick interval and change that interval to not be minus one because that means it'll do it every frame instead we're going to do that as every we'll do it at one second no don't do it at two seconds at least a bit of time on it and i'll just send one person over it too as well because if i send all four it'll go four times as fast so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it should disappear any second now i'll probably count it too quick uh probably count it too quick there we go okay so there is the attack so at the moment the animation is looping we have to take not to do that uh because the problem is we've got simple parallel looping itself and we've got this looping turn off that to be not looping and that should fix that So now I'm going to select all of them, send them all over to the tree. Now we'll collect it a lot quicker. Like so. As well as changing the interval, we're going to go into collect resource and make sure action is turned on to be editable. And go back to our tree and just set that to the correct enum. There. Now that should trigger and stop the enum from playing the animation. So I select all my actors and now it'll take them a little bit longer to chop down the tree. And there they go, they're stopping. Okay. Uh, and we can go over to these trees and knock down those ones. And that's it. So what's left to do is make it collect the actual wood and take it back to a base. So when it dies, we're going to uh, assign wood to each actor that deals damage to it. And once they've got that wood, they're going to take it back to their base up here. And we're going to see a number increase on the screen for that wood collection. So that will be part of the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you have enjoyed it and you want to support me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can find all of my videos well before anyone else from just $1 a month. Big shout out to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support. It really is amazing. I couldn't be doing this without you guys. So thank you so much. And if you're watching this and you've not yet hit that subscribe button, hit it. It really does help me out. So please, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.